There are times where running problems occur which cannot easily be identified by using a scanner. In such cases, a motor tester can be used. Let's see how to use the USB autoscope and the CSS script by Andre Shulgin. Connecting the device is easy. The gray synchronization pickup is used for identifying when spark occurs for cylinder number one. To obtain the crankshaft position sensor signal, it is necessary to use a test lead. You can use a needle probe to make it easier if necessary. Start the USB oscilloscope program and select the CSS script. Start the engine and leave it idling. Select record and after a few seconds, slowly raise the engine speed to 3000 RPM. Let off on the throttle and wait until the engine returns to idle. Then abruptly open the throttle and when the engine has achieved 3000 RPM, turn off the ignition but leave the throttle open. Wait until the engine has completely stopped turning and stop the recording. Next you will need to analyze the recorded waveform. To do this, Click Run Script in the USB oscilloscope window. The script will output multiple tabs. The Report tab shows the formula for the crankshaft reluctor, 60 minus 2, and which tooth coincides with TDC for cylinder number 1. The Efficiency tab shows the effectiveness of each cylinder at various points during the recorded data. The Ignition Timing tab shows the relative ignition timing depending on speed and load. The Toothed Disc tab displays the parameters of the crankshaft position sensor and reluctor. Let's go back to the Efficiency tab. You can see that the compression for all cylinders is the same, that the ignition system is working properly, and that there is no problem with the fuel supply. We can look at each cylinder individually by left clicking on the desired cylinder. We can conclude that all of the cylinders are working equally at all points during the recorded data. Let's carry out the same test on another vehicle. The setup is the same. Start the engine and let it stabilize. Slowly raise the engine speed to 3000 RPM. Let off on the throttle and wait until the engine returns to idle. Abruptly open the throttle all the way, and when the engine has achieved 3000 RPM, turn off the ignition but leave the throttle completely open. Stop the recording. To analyze the recorded data, click Run Script. According to the information in the Report tab, the Reluctor formula is 36 minus 1 and cylinder number 1, top dead center, is 9 teeth before the missing tooth. Notice in the Efficiency tab there are deviations in the red and yellow graphs showing a problem with cylinders number 1 and 3. The ignition timing appears normal. The Reluctor and Crankshaft sensor appear normal as well. Let's look closer at the Efficiency tab. From the graphed efficiency of the first cylinder, we can see the misfire occurring during snap throttle. This indicates a problem with spark in that cylinder. The end of the graph for the third cylinder indicates a problem with compression which has led to a decrease in efficiency. The graphs for the fourth and second cylinders show no faults. The misfire in the first cylinder was due to a cracked spark plug and a defective ignition cable.
The reduction in compression for the third cylinder was due to a burned valve.